Hey, it's Renee from GT Designs and Vintage Art Supplies. And uh, I am excited because, guys, I have made some serious progress. <laughs> I'm trying to make progress. <laughs> I'm trying. Uh, anyway, um, I got some racks out just to feel, so that's good. And this is... Um, this young lady has so patiently waited um, and I'm so excited to get this wrapped up and out the door and then I have um, a um, custom order a fairly quick book just to put together so that'll be really fun and then I can move on to some stuff that I just have had brewing and brewing and brewing um, on the sidelines and it's been so hard not to to um, complete what I need to complete, um, which is important, and not work on the um, kits that I have coming up fairly soon. So, anyway, and they're going they're going to be smaller kits. They're not going to be my usual craziness, um, out of control kits, the works kits. Um, they will be small, um, just you know, just uh, themed. Some will be themed, some won't. Um, to sort of build your stash kits or build your stash packs is what I like to call them um, now. So anyway, um, this is a smaller um, junk journal kit um, that a young lady asked me for. And she wanted color and um, she wanted ephemera, um, floral, handkerchief, um, supply other supplies fabrics and laces and a lot of uh, vintage children's um, book pages and images um, and some fairy tale and I may have to add so I don't think I put fairy tale in here but I may have to dig around because I got some fairy tale stuff for sure so that'll be um, added to this I just I didn't do that I'm not sure why um, not that I don't have that I just I don't know um, so this is what I have so far let me just show you the papers first. Um, and if you are new to my channel, hello and welcome. Um, I am a recycler, thrifter, scavenger, uh, dumpster, diver. <laughs> um, uh, I get everything gifted or second-handed. Um, this time I won't say second-handedly but second-handed so I go back and watch some of my videos and I get so excited guys I'm just all over the place and this is kind of my down brain time from teaching because teaching I'm on level high all the time and so when I'm doing anything relative to Etsy or these videos my brain is like happy mush um, and it's it's a nice nice uh, contrast and a nice break so um, anyway she wanted some purples and you know um, sort of fairy maybe I did put some fairy in here fairy tale stuff I, I'm not sure but I'll double check I may have to add some other um, fairy tale-ish things so this is some of the paper um, that I get um, after other people have picked through it and they throw it um, to the birds and I get it um, and you can see how pretty those little florals are they've got little um, little shiny glitter um, in the centers and I don't know what paper packs these are from guys because mine are just they're rescued um, there's a fairy there that perhaps might suit um, the fairy tale um, part but I do have some princess stuff somewhere that I will put in here. There's that. And there's some pretty purple. And some flowers. This is an old pack here. I've had this for a long time and I found it at a thrift store and it still had quite a bit of its um, paper in there. I featured it one time a long time ago and had someone contact me and said, hey, do you have any more of that paper? And they described it. She described it and everything. She was so happy to get um, the few sheets of this. And there were other colors and images. I think some were daisies and um, other florals that she was really interested in. So there's some purple paper there and some color green and paisley pieces there and I put let's see some vintage children's images 
Um, she was very um, adamant about wanting some of those. And some children's music paper. These are old. All of this is vintage. She was really, really interested in a lot of vintage. So there's Pop Goes the Weasel. She wanted nursery rhyme stuff too, I think. Hey Diddle Diddle. That's music paper, and that's pretty thick cardstock um, weight paper. And some music paper. I love this image. She's really cute. There's music paper there and here. And there's some ledger and more ledger and more ledger and more ledger in a different shape of course and more ledger different style card stocky paper book pages kids I thought this was really adorable and big ledger now this ledger has and she wanted vintage so um, there's two big sheets of this. This ledger is really big. And there's two sheets of it. It's got writing on it. This, I believe, is from the 50s. February 1951. And I thought maybe she could even cut some of this up. Um, and use it. And make uh, ephemera tags with it. So there's a lot of that there. That's really fun. That's bigger than the other pages. And then some coffee dye paper. This is actually tea dyed here. Put some of that in there just because, you know, maybe she wants to use it. And then I put some images, vintage images in avocado dye. And there's some writing paper. And more children's images. Put some fall pumpkins in there. And here is that index that I've never seen index paper like this, dividers like this, where I think these are old. I, I'm not sure, and I don't even remember where I got them from, but the paper feels so good. And then I love this blue tab against this color uh, green paper I like that I put that in another kit recently and it was like yellow with an orange tab or orange with a yellow tab I've never seen divider paper like that and I know I get silly over the excited over the silliest things but there you have it there's John Henry my students uh, in my class were asking who would win John Henry or Paul Bunyan <laughs> Oh my God, they those kids, I'm telling you, some of the stuff they come up with is just insane. It's so crazy. Um, there is, was it Paul? Yeah, it was Paul Bunyan, the brawny paper towel guy, the guy on brawny paper towels. Paul, I think that's Paul Bunyan, but yeah, it was one of the big uh, mythological figures, you know, um, and so they were saying who would, who would win. Um, there's an iron horse train. That's the name of it, I guess. And there's some other images. I love these old book pages like that. And there's a book page, very large pages, um, book pages. That's Hiawatha. And there's her little shoes there with big lettering um, that she can probably cut out and use. And there's several sheets of children's school paper. There's several sheets of that, that writing paper. There is some uh, vintage wallpaper. She wanted color. And I just put this frog page in here because I don't know if she's, I don't ask. I, when people buy my uh, packs, um, I don't ever ask what they're doing or anything. I just sort of guess. And sometimes that's kind of the fun of it all. Um, because a lot of the stuff you wouldn't be able to go into um, a trendy mass store and, and buy a 
pack like this or a kit like this so it's just kind of fun to have that randomness and so I put that frog in there I think there's some tadpoles on the back this is from one of those old child craft books those are fun and then there's some map page and it is pretty big so she can make tags out of um, out of this there's two sides two big sides of it and I won't ever be able to get the whole thing in here so there's a lot of that and that's great for um, adding pages into her book or you know personalizing tags or um, pockets and things and then this is some old children's um, book page um, and these are from nursery rhymes I believe um, but they've got some really cute images And some of these she might be able to I like how a lot of the um, journal makers will from time to time cut things out in circles um, which I think is really a fabulous way to recycle what's left over um, especially from books that um, uh, for me from books that I rescue tend to rescue a lot of so there's some cute Eloise Wilkin um, children And here are several pages of other children's books. <clears throat> These are from the 70s. And so she can probably make tags with those. And there's more Lois Wilkins children here. Finger painting. I love this picture. And then I put in some purple stationery. It's got the scallop edges. And here is some writing, um, not writing paper, pattern paper. And I think this is meant for origami, guys. Um, it's really soft. I have no idea. I think I got it in a haul video I showed where I found a bunch of paper pads. Um, I think. I'm not for sure. I'm trying to remember. But anyway, I did a haul video where I showed a bunch of how I get my this pattern paper. I don't buy this at Hobby Lobby or anywhere or Joann's or Michael's. Um, I get it um, at thrift stores and secondhand stores and bazaars and flea markets. So those are really neat. I think those are origami papers, though. There's some note paper. I love these colors. There's some dictionary, and those are in the large font. F's and I's. And there's a very vintage, cute little boy on a um, seesaw. And this is really cute. And very yellowed, um, very vintage. Here's another one of those writing sheets. And here's some more purple writing papers. And some glassine bags. A white bag and a craft bag. And here's some um, book page here with children. I'll put in a little Christmas piece. And this is one of those books um, that has some soiling on it. This was a rescue. And there's some images there. Really cute. Love the birds across here. Um, so that's really cute. And that's sort of a religious. And then here's some ephemera. That's an invoice. And... A nursery rhyme. I know she was interested in that. I'm almost certain. I think she said fairy tale and nursery rhyme. Mostly fairy tale, I think. So, so put that in there. There's two of my coffee dyed envelopes. And these pretty images here. I love this one. She looks like a snow baby. And those are ephemera pieces love this one too she's blaming the bacon on the dog taking it 
an envelope in red and white, a beige one, or ivory color. And these are uh, random book pages that I had um, in a book that was really, really fragile and torn and worn and all that. Just not in very good shape at all. It's so-so shape, but not enough to uh, salvage or save, I should say. So there's some very yellowed pages of children's images. And this is the Fleur de Lis, and this is not uh, Distress. That's real vintage yellowing and aging patina. And there's some that's got the handwriting on there. Sally, uh, Morse for, Sally Moore from Jackson, Mississippi. And there's some napkins for her to, to mess around with and create with. And I had to put a little Christmas mouse in there from mice. And here are some um, papers that are naturally... Um, uh, dyed, stained, not dyed, stained, I should say. And that's just with water. Those are really pretty. And then there's a little math award kids card. Okay, and then let's see. I've got a few more minutes left on here. Let me fly through this stuff here. Um, she's got some cards. These are from the 70s index cards. A bingo card. Some coffee dyed index cards. And some game pieces. Those are great to make tags out of. Um, really cool playing cards in blue. She liked color, so wanted to make sure to put some um, vibrant pieces in there there's a time card two of those in blue and orange and guest checks my usual two of those two of those and two of those and there's some more cards word cards and just plain numbers in red and blue or blue and here's some pretty um, colorful index cards now I know you can get index cards all of us can get these fairly cheaply at the dollar store but I don't know I just think that there's something about having them handy in a pack of paper uh, when you're adding this uh, stuff to your stash or you're creating immediately um, without having to you know go out and buy um, whole sets of them there's some invoice pieces bingo and there's a card there and a card there and there and there some tags vintage game piece this is one of my great um, grandfather and great grandmother's um, receipts and because she wanted ephemera I made sure to put some of that in there and my whole family guys I know I always say this they all owned their houses they worked really hard and paid for their homes like really early um, my family was so stable um, and I just love that and so this just shows that responsibility of bill paying um, you know in America in the 50s 1958 and that's you know either that's what they owed it looks like there's a piece from my aunt my grandmother's great-grandmother's daughter great auntie that's a piece from her bill her and my uncle's bill that's for their American Express credit <laughs> um, and then there's some more playing cards there's some ephemera pieces there and some old pocket dictionary and some tiny glassine bags those are cute and then some dime and coin uh, tubes and those are in different greens this is a grunge green that's a grunge green one's lighter one's darker they're both grunge and there's a cute little image of a little boy in a clown outfit that's probably by a famous painter and then there's um, some tiny baby envelopes 
very different than that other tiny baby envelope in there somewhere. Some vintage um, sorry cards. These are old. Some more tubes, coin tubes. And some little word pieces and stamps. And I sort of, in my brain when I'm, you know, when I um, talk to or communicate with a customer, like she said, children's images and color and um, fairy tales. So my mind immediately started thinking about predominantly about kids mostly. But I tried to keep it neutral too with some vintage like shabby or something like that. So, and here's some tickets. So she can play around with those. And I'm sorry guys, I'm looking at my hands and not the not the camera okay so there's that and here's her book it's a teal colored book and i will gut it i gut all of my books um before they go out to keep costs down whether it's domestically or abroad so there's that but that's a old um reader's digest book and i love this teal colored uh, book and she's going to get a whole pack of what i call filler paper and filler paper is paper that is just that it's modern um it's meant to fill up your journal pages to break up the vintage feel of it to break up uh, images to break up too much um busyness um so that's why i put a file folder not for every kit this was a smaller kit but i tend to put that so let me just show you there's a file folder and she's got some linen paper, some card, perforated white card stock card, um, ivory paper, on, I mean not onion skin, parchment in different colors, mulberry kind of, not mulberry, mulberry colored. There's more parchment in blue, copy paper pink, linen, uh, resume paper blue, a different, <coughs> excuse me, a different um parchment blue card stock um really thick card stock and game pieces which should really go here because it's vintage um some messaging pieces um there's some stenography and just a bunch of paper that you can put she can use um i imagine or just you know just to have in her stash um, I'm going to make more of these stash packs, uh, build your own stash pack, um, pa packs, <laughs> um, again soon. So messaging papers and envelopes and some coffee dyed, uh, graph paper. I love this. And again, I got that idea from Sue Olson a long time ago and a popcorn bag, a brown bag. There's a CD sleeve some security envelopes, a smaller brown bag, blue security envelopes, more dictionary in a different style than what I had initially. And then I doubled up on that one like she has in her pack. Um, different letters, of course, card stock, um, graph paper, writing children's paper, card stock, file folder blue, more writing children's paper, um, rotary cards, and more envelopes. And these pieces are modern pieces. There's a envelope there that she can make a journal out of if she wanted to. There's a CD sleeve in black instead of white and some more envelopes. And the nice thing about filler paper, which is, again, what I call it because it's meant to break up um, images and add a little bit of moder modernity to your... Um, oh, I can't get my time. I'm so tired, guys. <laughs> add a little bit of modernness. There you go. Instead of me trying to fumble around with that word and say it... Um, then they it breaks up that whole uh, vintage feel which is nice um in any of your books so hopefully she can use that um i i think um she should be able to or add it to her stash and then finally there's more and i only have three minutes left on my 
phone because my videos are I gotta dump some stuff off my phone so she's got she wanted lace so she's got some lace here and I tried to add a lot of color and she's got quite a bit of it and love this piece here it looks kind of weird but it's really cool look at that that's kind of a fringe and it's got ribbon mixed in there so that's really pretty and she can play around with that and there's some um, lavender here this is silky very very pretty put a really big piece of that in there and some tags and some floss these want to catch on to everything and some of these tags and some buttons there's a fairy or yeah a fairy tale piece there's a princess and some buttons and other little doodads and charms and some little jars that are really cute and some pins and a lot of colorful brads I put in there okay oh and she's got this was the last piece I had in my um, I still have I think three two or three of the textile kits left in case you're interested so those are in my Etsy store right now and there's some organza and then last but not least before my phone cuts off and I usually never have to rush like this but I'm out of space on my phone there's some of that vintage um, fabric from my great aunt's uh oh guys yep it's it's flashing at me okay uh, vintage fabric from my great aunt's estate and there's some pretty um a pretty big piece there that she can use and then i put some um two large pieces of um, lace because she did want lace and Okay, guys, sorry about that. I had to erase an, an old video on there that was really um, large in space-wise, so, or space-wise. So here is, um, what was I saying? Anyway, this is a large piece um, that I put in there for her, and I like these colors. Those are so pretty. And then I put a large piece of this um, purple lace in there. And I was showing you guys that probably before my camera went Wonkers. Can you see that? There we go. So there's that. And oh, okay. I'm so tired, guys. I'm really tired. It's been a long, long, long week for me. <laughs> but I'm not complaining. I'm just saying. Um, there's some pretty black lace that she might be able to use, make pockets with, or you know. Um, embellishments or layering I think you guys use that a lot for layering so I put a big old piece of that in there for her there's a lot of that so that um, should suffice I'm hoping um, and that's kind of you know that's a lot more than what I would normally put in but she's been so patient I'm just so grateful and again I'm putting a hold on custom orders until after the new year and I may not even do it until like later just because I want to um, get some other things um, out too and I just I feel like if I can't get my custom orders out like fast super fast enough I should not do them right now until I can really commit to that um, that's kind of my motto and thinking right now of late um, is if I can't really work to get my custom orders out really fast then I should not uh, sign up to, to do them so um, but I'll, I'll, I'll get back to it again at some point. Um, so, and then finally, um, here is a beautiful hanky. Um, she did want a handkerchief with flowers. And because she liked blues and purples, um, I thought this uh, scallop piece um, would be just beautiful um, and perfect for whatever she's going to use it for. This hanky is in really perfect, beautiful condition. Just gorgeous. And last but not least is some butterflies. And um, let me put this here. 
I just put her in a large piece if she's doing um, this you guys will see again I, I'm working on a fairy kit um, and you'll see some more of this again um, I like this it's kind of um st not stretchy material but it's flexible you know you can you can move it around and do things with it it's modern I think um, I don't think it's vintage but I just like it I love the butterflies even if they were cut out um, and made into uh, pieces that you could layer and I love the ladybugs on here so um, hopefully that'll make her happy and she can um, create with that as well so that's it guys um, I'll be back again yeah I think that's it guys um, like I said oh and I have a sale in my Etsy store but it's on non junk journal stuff for the most part um, but I do have three, two or three of the uh, vintage um, textile kits still left um, if anybody is interested. And you can message me um, and if the shipping is too high for wherever you live, just ask. Um, I'm sure we can work something out. And I think that's it. Um, I'm still saving my money to buy several journals from several people. And I want to actually save my money and buy uh, my books from a long list of ladies that I have um, that I just absolutely I love everybody's work um, But you know, there are some ladies that I just can't wait to get my hands to wrap my fingers around the spines of their books and flip through pages and Look at them. So um, I'm still saving my pennies for that and um, I got racks out a couple. Let's see. I got one two three I made um, a little bit of leeway actually on racks, but I still have a lot to go. And those are just, they're slow and they're in no specific order. Um, but I do have to, to get moving because I'd like to get my international racks out before um, the end of the year. Um, that's what I, my plans are is to just keep the, the stash packs rolling out as much as I can. And I'm kind of proud of myself that I haven't taken on any more custom orders. So sometimes it's so hard for me to say no, but lately i have said no <laughs> um just because like i said if i can't commit and do uh those get those kits out fast enough custom orders out fast enough i shouldn't sign up for it just yet i have to wait until i can get my brain to go in so anyway guys okay thanks for uh stopping into my channel give me a thumbs up um i could use it and i appreciate everybody uh everybody's comments your opinions um if you stop in and take a peek and don't leave any comments or thumbs that's okay too i hope you're learning something from me as well as i do from you guys all the time so um yeah okay bye everybody bye